Good morning. Please welcome to the 2021 U.S. Women's Open interview Erica, area, Jessica Corda. This week, Corda will make her 14th U.S. Women's Open start. Jess, when you hear that, what comes to mind? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's cool. I mean, it means I started early. <laughs> uh, um, the, the U.S. Open week, you know, we've heard you say it's different. What is different about it and what are your expectations this week? Um, well, I mean, for me, it just holds a very special place in my heart. This is where I knew that I wanted to be a professional golfer, and it gave me that first kind of test or taste of um, what it was like. Uh, and I'm just really excited to be here. This is going to be a great test of, um, of golf, and, you know, this is a proper uh, U.S. Open golf course, so I'm just really, really excited to get the week started. You've had a chance to see the course now. What are your thoughts? It's hard. <laughs> I love it. Small greens, high rough. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be difficult, but I'm super excited about it. Karen? Speaking to the difficulty of the course, what is the challenge when you are a perfectionist used to trying to um, have a course succumb to your will, knowing that a bogey is a good score and that over par, you know, might well be the winning score? Well, I think I heard... Um, and during one of like the USGA interviews that there's only been four people that have ever broken par in uh, 72 holes. So, you know, I think that answers that question. <laughs> um, so, the, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty spectacular. You can see why, the, uh, like I said, there's no, there's no first cut out here. The rough is high. Um, greens are really small. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a difficult test, um, but I'm really excited about it because this is exactly what a U.S. Open, in my head, always su is supposed to look like. Great, thank you. Jess, golf is a game of streaks, and you're t trending toward being on a really good ball striking streak. Where do you think you are relative to the way the course is setting up? Um, <laughs> I feel like I answer this all the time because golf, you just never know what you're going to get. You know, you can be as prepared as you want, and sometimes it's just the one slight thing that might be off. Um, but I feel pretty good. You know, I've had a good couple of weeks. Uh, my coach is here uh, till tomorrow, so we've been uh, prepping for the course and just tweaking small things here and there. And I'm excited. I really like this golf course. I like the way it fits my eye. It's definitely demanding off the tee visually because um, you see the you know the fairway sloping one way but you really got to start it in a different way then you got the the wind aspect and it's a bit heavier than we're used to seeing um, so yeah it's going to be really fun a lot of thinking I'm probably going to have a lot of naps and a lot of 10-hour sleeps <laughs> and speaking of questions you get asked all the time uh, Sebastian Corda now has entered the winner's circle so um <laughs> How, how much motivation do you guys feed off of each other, given where everybody is in your family? Oh, it was so cool to watch him win. I was actually packing to come here. I forgot some things that I needed to pack, but other than that, it was great. Uh, we were just so excited to see him win. He's been in the finals a couple times. He's been close, and he's just kept knocking on the door until it finally opened. Ron. One more family question. What do you think about playing with your sister, and what will that be like in a major? Will there be much banter or are you totally focused on that? Our parents are so excited. They're like, we don't have to walk 36 holes. We can all come in the same time. Um, Nellie and I are just, you know, it is what it is. We're, we like playing together. Um, so there's no issue. We're, we were in each other's room or she was in my room last night. So it's fine. And for, for fans who maybe don't follow uh, you guys that closely, how, how different, you know, in what ways are you and Nellie different? How, how much do you Talk about golf, and you kind of characterize what your relationships like out here. Um, we're I'm more of an extrovert. She's maybe more slightly an introvert until she gets to know you. Um, in terms of golf, we don't speak a lot about golf. Um, once we leave the golf course, we talk about shopping, food, shows. Honestly, just just like you would talk to your friend about. There's no golf really ever spoken about once we leave the course. Um, but we enjoy spending time together on and off the course. I mean, whether we're on the golf course, we're talking about different shots. And then when we're at home, it's what shoes we like. <laughs> well, what did you forget to pack, first of all? I almost actually were leaving the driveway and I go, oh, my God, I don't have contacts. So oh. I had to run back into the house and grab my contacts or a fresh towel, uh, which my caddy now has to wash this week. <laughs> uh, just small, stupid stuff that you can buy. So there's a lot of talk in the run-up to the Olympics. I know your family, you could all be there. Do you guys talk about that that much? And 
How special would that be if you were all competing in the Olympics? It'd be really cool. Um, you know, I think that's something that's so far in the future um, that I'm not necessarily looking at just yet. I know that's probably not the right thing to say, but we still have a lot of majors <laughs> left. Um, and, you know, girls are playing well, and I'm kind of teetering. So if it happens, great. If not, honestly, it's I'm, I'll be okay. <laughs> Do you look at the rankings much? No, I try not to. I, I mean, I know that it's it's talked about just because it would be kind of like a big thing. But, again, there's there's so much golf between now and then. Um, I think we have, like, this major, KPMG, and Evian. Um, and there's just a lot of golf. There's a lot of golf this year. So um, we'll see kind of what happens. And a lot of tennis, too, I guess, huh? And a lot of tennis, too. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Jess, um, three of the last four U.S. Women's Open winners have been long hitters. Do you see that as an advantage out here, given all the bend in the fairways and the rough and all that, and maybe because they'd be farther along even if they're in the rough? Or do you see length kind of being negated this week in some sense? Honestly, I've only seen – I've played – I played on uh, Sunday afternoon and um, yesterday morning. So it all depends on how the greens are going to be. If they're going to be firm, I think coming in with a shorter club is definitely going to be an advantage. Um, the rough is thick, so you need to keep the ball in the fairway. Uh, that will be, I think, the, the key this week is um, keeping the ball in play in the fairways um, because they're, the rough's no joke. I mean, you're trying to just hack it out unless you have a favorable lie and then are able to go for it. But And then the greens are small, so y there's just a lot going on, and I think it'll just be trying to concentrate on the shot that's in front of you instead of everything else. Are there... Have you identified numerous holes where you're not going to use driver? Yes, we definitely have. On the front nine, there's... there's a good amount of holes that we won't be using driver. We might even use seven wood. Um, I think 18 looks like a four iron. It just depends on how the golf course is going to be playing, the firmness of it. Um, I only played the front nine yesterday morning, so obviously the ball's flying a lot shorter. So um, we'll kind of sit down with the team and talk through it all and see, yeah. see what it's playing like by tomorrow. Would this be kind of a venue where uh, using fewer drivers would be a lot different than a lot of other places? Not necessarily. Okay. Um, the, the fairways are so, so narrow. Um, I know that they said that they widened them a good amount, but we also don't have a first cut. Um, so they'll be, it'll be really interesting. I'm, like I said, I'm really excited to see. Um, some of it's going to obviously be luck as well, how your ball might be sitting in the rough if you do end up. It could also be where your ball kind of comes out of the fairway and is leaning up against that tall rough and you know then what are you going to do with that you just hit a good shot and all of a sudden the next one's not looking so easy so um it'll be a challenging week but like I said this is this is a major championship and uh this golf course is set up for that one more for you uh 16 what do you think of 16 as a par five um the big horseshoe Probably one of the stranger holes you've Yeah, played. you hit Wait. that ball straight and not, you know, around the bend. That that rough is gnarly. I, I hit it there and wanted to try to hit one out. And, yeah, that was not nice. <laughs> uh, one, it was nice to find the ball. And then uh, it kind of just ate up my club pretty quickly. How far did you hit the second shot? I tried to get an 8-iron. Like, it maybe flew, a like, total 100 yards. Like, 20 yards maybe in the air, max. Um so, like I said, keeping it in the fairway, being smart about placement, it'll be, it's a major. You got to play like a major. It's not like a regular week, so you don't get to play like a regular week. Amy. Thank you. You were one of the top-ranked players that chose not to play last week at the match play. Just curious your decision not to compete last week. Too much golf. <laughs> um, if it would have landed anywhere else in the schedule, I think that would have been an amazing event. I loved watching it. I thought it was super fun. Uh, but once I saw Sophia's feet kind of bleeding, I knew that I made the right choice. How did you spend the week instead? Uh, at home with family. Um, I got to see my parents for the first time since um, uh, Ocala. So that was nice to see them because they've been traveling with my brother and been at home. So, um, yeah, it was nice to see them and then just, you know, got ready. Repacked. Last question, Ron. <laughs> Given your background in Florida, how cold are you? And you said you forgot some stuff. Did you bring enough? layers oh I was prepared for the layers I have played in San Francisco especially this area a lot I knew exactly what I was coming into I got hot hands I got gloves I got it all I, I'm warm <laughs> can I can I sleep in that question um Jessica over the past year Michelle 
We West has become this really strong-voiced person, an advocate for women and golf. Has that person been, have you seen that person all along, or has there been something that has, she seems to have blossomed or come into her own since becoming a mom? I think she's she's always been like that. Um, I think when you're playing, it might be a little bit tough to be an advocate. I really think that having uh, McKenna really lit a fire, maybe a little bit more underneath her, and everything comes with time. And I think her timing is really great, always has been. So um, I'm really proud of everything that she's been doing and continues to do for the game of golf. Thank you. Thanks, Jess. Thanks. Oh, my God, it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs>